good afternoon it is monday so that means i didn't vlog yesterday i actually started the vlog but i didn't like vlog a lot i just vlog like in the morning because me and sterly went to mcdonald's to get breakfast because i really wanted some breakfast i really wanted that bacon egg and cheese mcgriddle say good morning guys good morning we just rolled out of bed, didn't we? Yeah. Now where are we at? McDonald's. We wanted McDonald's breakfast. Bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddles. And then after that, we just spent the day. Um, I've been trying to clean out her room. I know I probably mentioned that before, but she has a lot of stuff, and so we're trying to downsize a lot of stuff. Um, like her room was set up where she had all her stuff a lot of stuff she doesn't play with anymore like the little pet shops if you remember how she got really into them like last summer and got a bunch of the play sets like at flea markets and stuff so she had a lot of like big things like you know the play sets which used to be on some shelves that went along her wall so um she's gonna be sharing a room with the baby so we got her a bunk bed coming so it'll either be here this weekend or next weekend they said two to three weeks so we will see um so we had to get rid of all the shelving and so we are trying to just put away like some of the things that she doesn't play with right now like, right now she's into her barbies so her barbies is something that can be left out um she used to be into baby alive she has like 50 or 60 baby alive dolls but right now they're all like she has a shelf in the top of her closet and actually there's two shelves yeah two shelves I think they're taking up both shelves they're just all sitting up on the shelves in the top of her closet so she will be sharing a room with the baby so we have to downsize her um, which she has a pretty big room I think I think she has the biggest room in the house. Um, both of my boys, the rooms are downstairs, which you guys probably saw, and then me and my husband's room, I think, is smaller than her room. So, anyway, um, the plan right now is she's going to get a bunk bed, and I think I mentioned before that we probably aren't going to do a crib unless, you know, we can find a really good deal on a crib. We might do a crib, but... I don't think we'll do a crib. Um, Sterling co sleeped for the, ever. And so um, we'll probably just do some co sleeping. I want to get a Doc Tot, which is, if you don't know what that is, because I didn't know what it was until I started seeing it in people's vlogs. And I'm like, that's a great idea. It's just a little something that you put the baby in that is totally breathable fabric. That way, you know, the baby is in her own separate thing and won't get rolled on or squished or any of that stuff so um and then we also are going to do a bassinet and a pack and play like in the living room where she can sleep in the living room in a pack and play and because that's what we did with Sterly um we just raised it if you know what a pack and play is you know that they um either it can the bottom of it can either be down low where it's more like a playpen or up where it can be for a little baby to sleep in so that's what we're probably going to do but anyway yesterday I spent the day um, trying to we got this rid of the shelves yesterday we um, packed up some of her stuff and then some of the stuff just threw on the floor which um, like uh, late last night I went through a lot of stuff and there's still a lot of stuff to go through so I'm trying to get that taken care of because you know the bed's gonna be coming soon also like our hall we have a linen closet at the end of our hall and we have kids and they just throw stuff in like if they were in charge of folding their sheets their sheets just get wadded up and thrown in there so I went through all the sheets folded everything all nice and neat got everything in there and then I was thinking because 
both my boys have um, twin beds. They both have twin beds, but they have their own personal sheet sets that I buy them. So that's their sheet sets. They're responsible for taking care of them. So we don't have any twin sheets per se to use on Sterling's beds. One's a, it's a twin over full. Um, so we have to get twin sheets and full sheets. And I haven't really found any bedding like for them. We've been looking around. We haven't looked everywhere, so we want to check some more places. But um, so we went to Walmart this morning, and I just ended up picking up a pink. It's actually kind of like a pink blush. I think it was called. Um, two sets, a full set, full set and a twin set of those sheets. I just went with the solid color because, like I said, I don't know what comforter sets we're going to get. You know, I kind of want a matching, but she's like, I want DC superheroes. So, I don't know. And then, you know, she's going to be, the baby's going to be in there, so, I don't know. And then, Strolly just has a dresser with four drawers, I think. But we want to get like one of the long dressers that have the side by side drawers. That way, one side can be Sterling's, one side for the babies. And then we're in the process of um, weeding out her closet. So, right now, the baby already has her, a lot of her stuff in there on one side. But I'm trying to get, got to do something with the dolls, got to do some. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's. And then we spent the day, our friends came over, um, they were at the con with us as well, but he's the one, um, he ended up giving us a wash machine that we get to use, and actually I like it. Like, I didn't know how, we didn't know what condition or whatever it was going to be in it, but we like it, and it's so nice. We had the front loader. And we bought the set brand new probably like six years ago and like we've had issues with the dryer we had to replace a part like twice on the dryer and now was it washer i think it was the dryer and now the motor went out on the washer so um he just called he does apartment maintenance and he just called him up and he said that he had a washer and a dryer set if we wanted the dryer but we just went with the washer and so yeah and so far, you know, we've done, I don't know, five or six loads because we didn't do laundry for a while. So, so far it's working good and it's a top loader and I like it. I like it a lot. So, anyway. Yesterday we just got a washer, hung out with our friends. We went to eat with our friends, come home, did a lot of laundry. And today, so far, we went to Walmart. I just had to pick up some groceries because I think my son's gonna cook dinner, so I had to get him some dinner. And our our flea, our flea has been scratching. Our cat has been scratching for the past like two weeks, so I think she might have picked up some fleas from the dog. So I got her some flea treatment, which usually I'm pretty good at like keeping her up to date on that kind of stuff. But she, the, her last treatment she had was in like either March or April and it's three so it's been like three months ago so um yeah so other than that not a whole lot going on Sterling wants to go out in the pool I have a makeshift uh, bathing suit on because I can't fit the other bathing suit whatsoever so I have this which is a bikini top a tank top and just a pair of like gym shorts like uh what are these yeah like sweatpants kind of shorts yeah <laughs>
what you're made for And there's nothing that is too late for Playing in the water. Yeah. We tried to wash this off the best we could. Then I had to wash off the porch where the dog has been laying. So I gotta wash off all over here. But there's where the dog has been laying, where it's all dirty. We're gonna have to get something, some kind of cleaner and clean it. Actually, the whole porch needs to be cleaned, but pressure washing would be good. <sighs> now she's just playing in water. Don't get it near 